What a great blessing it is today to lead this house in prayer. And I want to thank my state representative, James White. And I also want to thank our speaker, Mr. Joe Strauss. Let's bow our heads in prayer. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today gracious and thankful for the opportunity to stand in this house of the Texas people. It is with great respect and honor that we approach this hallowed chamber. It is with great humility that we seek your divine blessing upon each state representative, their family, and their staff. Proverbs 22.4 states, By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. With this in mind, we pray that your divine laws that have been written upon the tablets of our heart be at the center of all legislation that passes through this chamber. Proverbs 11.1 1 reminds us that dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Today we would ask of you, O Lord, our divine creator, for just solutions to the challenges that are before our great state. We pray for our educational challenges, that you would lead us with dignity and humility to ensure a proper education for our children. We pray for your divine influence upon our heart and minds to the value of human life, that we could discern the value of all human life from conception in the womb through the twilight years of our lives, that we would protect the right of the unborn through the lives of our elderly citizens who cannot take care of themselves. We pray for the challenges of marriage that exist in our state. We pray that we honor the estate of holy matrimony, that we recognize your laws that dictate the health of marriage, the bond of marriage, and also the provision of children and their role of providing care for us when we are aged and infirmed. We pray that we would honor the houses of worship and their creator-given rights of expression through the spoken word. We pray that this House of Representatives would respect, honor, and appreciate the churches throughout our great state and to realize the importance of our Christian outreach and discipleship and how through humility and the fear of the Lord that honorable citizens are brought up, that wholesome values shape our communities and offer partnership to those who govern. Lord, we know that in order to get here today, there were hard-fought campaigns, and I pray today again that each representative would walk with divine blessing and grace that comes from above. We ask today for wisdom to make honorable decisions. We ask today for strength to stay in the fight for what we believe, and we ask today for peace. As hard topics are debated, may the spirit of peace prevail in this house day by day. Father God, Proverbs 19.17 says, Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. And all that is done during this legislative cycle, may we not forget our poor and also our veterans that have served to protect us and protect our God-given rights. We call upon your divine grace and peace this day and each day that follows. And now, Texas, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.